In Sikh faith, it's very important that you earn an honest living, meditate, and also give back to others, sarbat pala, which means welfare of all. It's about giving back to the community and helping out your fellow man. He's helping the community, he's helping people in need, just generally helping, it's really nice. Looking at him, the way he serves the community, it inspires you to like, you want to do the same thing. That's how Amar has been inspiring for us and all other volunteers as well. Turbans for Australia is an aid relief charity. We help out during disasters. When we first started in 2015, Turbans was a, a small way to give back and get some fellow Sikhs to volunteer and get involved. But now it's gone beyond faith, diversity, religion, ethnicity. We've got every member of the society coming here to help, be it on the forefront or in the background. Here we are now in a warehouse where we can actually store thousands and thousands of dollars worth of stock in food and material to get out to people in need. So we get donations when the issue is hot and the, the issue is very real to people and that's why we come in. It means our warehouse looking like this jam-packed with stuff that got here three months ago but people on the receiving end can't take it because they're not ready. So now they're finally out. It's going to be a huge trip, probably three to four trucks that are going to be heading Saturday morning. We've got barbecues, we've got furniture, we've got toys that are going out to Northern Rivers. They are waiting for us. Some of these families that you see behind us, they still don't have houses to live in. They're either displaced from their homes or they're living in homes which are still ravaged by the floodwaters. We've been helping people non-stop really since the floods, trying to repair their homes and their lives and get back to some notion of normality. Just the fact that they arrived and said, we're here with you, you know, it's an act of absolute solidarity. They came with food, they came with their charity and with compassion, and that's what our community needed. Seeing the trucks roll in, it was just absolutely incredible that there's organisations that can do that, and so important. These toys for these kids, it's going to bring so much joy where they've got nothing. This is just going to change their lives and just give them that little bit of hope that people are still out there helping and people do care. When you see parents and kids smiling, that's probably like, you know, makes your day. That's sort of, you know, keep us dropping. It's all about connecting to people and telling them that they're not alone in this. We're all thinking about them. We're all supporting them in the recovery. And that's all that matters. Australia, I love you all. I'm not supposed to be here, by the way. It doesn't feel real. First of all, I'd like to acknowledge the traditional owners of the land and the elders, the Ngunnawal people, the traditional custodians of this beautiful nation. I pay my respect to the elders, past, present and emerging, and any elders that are here today, love you, respect you. I understand that Australia that is a difficult time for many in our nation, especially from the First Nations. I hope our nation will continue to reflect and come together in name of equality and prosperity and become one. I'm a man who fought to find his place in Australia against lonely and isolation times, coming to a new country with a suitcase as a 15-year-old, and here am I today. God damn it. <laughs> I wanted to play a role in bringing our communities together, make it a more harmonious place. I wanted to help build bridges and the benchmark of Australianness. There is none, because we're all equal. We all come from different lands, from our wonderful First Nation people to our newest migrants. We're all equal, all one. I'm planting a tree today. I might not be around to sit in the shade, but it's for the next generation, because that's what we've got to leave the place better for our future generation, my little 10-year-old Dave and my three-year-old at home today. What we want to do is create not just an understanding of our culture, but the cultures around us. 
of every beautiful food, the lunchbox that opens around the school, every kid, I want them to be proud of their food, their language, their culture, and their appearance. As a practicing member of a religious community, it's my dream to see Australians from all faiths and all backgrounds treated equally. I don't want somebody judged for their kappa, for their turban or their hijab. We are all human beings, we all bleed red. Each and every one of us deserves to be celebrated for who we are. And it's, it's our duty as migrants from ethnic backgrounds to make sure we open our doors to everyone that calls Australia home to make sure they can learn about our culture and our values and our traditions. If we build this community stronger, our kids, our future generations will benefit. And it's our moral responsibility to make this place a better nation because we only came here because it was a beautiful country, remember? We didn't go to Antarctica, but further down. <laughs> the society we help create today is gonna to be a future tomorrow and that of our kids. Turbans for Australia, a small group of volunteers that just wanted to give back and help out. And today, we're a strong charity with over 300 volunteers from every faith, every background. So it's not just a Sikh charity, it's an Australian charity represents our society, our values. You know, we are running community pantries in Sydney, out of Clyde, Melbourne, we've started a new place in Thomastown, Northern Rivers. We go where our people are hurting, no matter who's there. If disaster strikes, we want to be there to be able to help. It's not easy to just sit around and talk about the problems. I urge everyone, be kind and respectful. You too can be part of the change of the solution. Let's make Australia a nation that welcomes and values people from all walks of life. From our First Nations people who've cared for this land for over 60,000 years, to the newest Australians landing somewhere right around Australia at one of the airports with a suitcase starting this journey all together again. And I want to thank all those migrants that started out of these menial jobs that we see around today, serving our food, driving our taxis, many from, from my community. They all deserve a right to Australia, like many of us have, from the 10, town, 10 pound poems to the newest Australians. And lastly, I would like to say, we're a rich country with a diverse nation, wonderful land, wonderful food. We're a better and stronger nation if we include and support one another. This was and always will be Aboriginal land. And I'll leave you here today with words from a fam famous song by John Lennon. You may say I'm a dreamer, but I'm not the only one. I hope someday you will join us and the world will be as one. Thank you.